guys next property plan 1874 built by KB Homes let's get in here and see what is going on with this guy and then I just realized something that I am so stupid the plan model is actually the square footage of the of the house so let me double check that because square feet 187 I'm such an idiot look at this the plan can you see that the plan is the same as a square footage. Well, now you know. As soon as you walk into the front door, now this is what they mean, okay? So if you go in the previous videos, okay, or I'm gonna make one really long video and I'll chop it up and then I'll make a bunch of individual ones, but the flex space or like the, the downstairs, if you ever go into uh, the other townhomes that I went into earlier, those ones actually have like a, they made this into a bedroom, but this is what I mean by flex space. So flex space, and I'm sorry that it's so bright, but it, uh, you can make this into a little desk, and that goes into your patio, so this makes more sense. Number at the end of it, and that's all you do. So this video is one of those things, and just to show you how easy it is, yeah. this is my dude right here. I'm teaching him oh, how to do this COVID thing. Uh, there you go, and uh, he's helping me out. KB Home San Pedro, my man over here will take care of you. Call me first, then we'll go talk to him, and then we'll get it all dialed in. But until then, let's get on with this tour. All right, so we're having, uh, we had a little chit chat with my guy at KB Homes, which KB Homes staff, I'm telling you, some of the nicest people out there. I'll go ahead and uh, get one of my guy here, and I'm actually gonna get one of these guys in a video to see exactly how they do things, opposed to how my dumbass does things, because let's just face it, I'm, I'm not good at this. I'm just, whatever. But let's go ahead and get on with it. Damn, you got your half bathroom. It's not that great, but garage access. Let's see, is this full of shit too? But it's closed. I'm doing it. shit. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. You don't need to see me going up the stairs. So let's just go and skip this part. Too late. We actually already made it to the top of the uh, top of the mountain, top of the hill. This one's long. This one's long. Now I like townhomes because A, you got your living area, and then you do a little swing around, and then you got this little uh, chingadera right over there, which is your island. I like my islands going this way because it kind of gives me a little breakaway, and I like to look at the TVs as they're coming in. This as a TV that's already in this little nook area. I don't like nook areas. If you like it, your world, whatever. Not my cup of thing. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Of course, you have you're gonna have to just do a sectional. It'll be weird if you don't have sex. Oh, I mean, I guess you could do a sofa and a, and a love seat, but the sectional here makes the most amount of sense. Living, uh, deep breath. Dining area right over here. And then of course, the mandatory island. Island, this one is actually good. This, uh, this bridge enclosure is actually good because you don't have anything above it. So you can go really, really big. You go really, really small. It's your world scroll. I'm just trying to here get a nut. But it has a nice little L shape. Um, little L shape. What the fuck is this? Uh, countertop. Pantry area right over here. Well, this was actually better than normal. Half bathroom, you got yourself a coat closet over here. Half bathroom right over here. Cause I know I've done this a million times, but I have to try to keep it exciting and make it seem like you've never seen a half bathroom. The fuck do you do that? But let's go ahead and go up the stairs. This one, I'm not gonna make you suffer and go up the stairs with me. So I'm just gonna go up the stairs. All right, made it at the top of the stairs. One thing I do hate about townhomes is the stairs. Now, stairs are good because they'll go ahead and give you a nice little workout and you're gonna have some sick ass calves. But it does get tiring. And if you're a lazy motherfucker like me, it doesn't make it that much better. But off to the right hand side, I still don't understand why you would have master bedroom off the top of the right stairs. You need to have the master bedroom on the other side because I could hear everybody coming up the stairs. But in case you have some little, little naughty kids, that actually that actually w works out because then you know 
when the little shits are going upstairs and downstairs. And then you have the closet, which are they putting a little over there? They're trying to give you a little KB Holmes, you dirty sons of bitches. And then you come over here, his and hers, sink, little shower. This one's uh, this is how it comes, okay? So you don't get that nice stuff, you get this kind of like cheapy stuff, and then everything else is kind of upgrades afterwards. And then you, you don't need to see the toilet, but you do have a bathtub. Bathtubs are always good. Let's go down the hallway, check out the rest of this house. This little um, thing area, what is this, like a hutch or whatever. Then you have your other full bathroom that comes off to the right hand side, or coming up, it'll be on your left hand side. This will be for these other two bedrooms over here. You have A bedroom over here. And then B bed, this one's bigger. The bedroom on the left is much, much bigger. It's way, way longer. And this day bed is awesome. Oh, shit. Where did they get this day bed from? This is like, like Pottery Barn style. Give me a second, I need to find out where this came from. Okay, I got really, really excited there because this is something that I've been looking for for my kid. This is like a, a day bed that's kind of like a, like if you ever go to Pottery Barn and like the rest of the house is Pottery, maybe it is Pottery Barn. But this is like a day bed that looks like a like an oversized couch or, or whatever, but if I find it, I'll put it in the link below so you can kind of figure it out too. Um, I need to find this. But let's go ahead and do a recap. Oh, okay, so let's get on with it. So, we have Skyview at Point Vista 27723, Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California 90732. HOA is $152 and then you have a gym membership because you know what, it's Southern California and, and we automatically know that you're gonna go to the gym. So we have a gym membership, $18 a month and then you have the Mella fuck me in the ass. That's gonna be Mella Ruse, $3,500. Now the Mella Ruse is just something in additional to your uh, property tax that you have to pay. It's like a special assessed tax, kind of sort of. It's just all fancy words for you just have to pay more because you have to live here. This is actually gonna be 1,874 square feet, like every other KB home in this San Pedro community. They're all three, uh, three story, three level. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom. And then like you saw downstairs, you can make that into a flex space. That's what a flex space is. So, flex space. These actually start at 1.080740, $1,080,740. And, like always, if you want to get up to 50% commission, help yourself, help a friend. Link in the description below. If you need any mortgaging assistance, we're always here to help. Link in the description below. It's not a promise to lend and you know, like you ever read those things, send Alma's ID number, all that other good stuff is down, uh, downstairs. Downstairs, in the fucking comments. 